All right, guys, so here I am in the middle of um, a project, um, in the middle of landing page creation project for a work from home opportunity for seniors. So I'm doing this right now, and I'm in the, middle, I'm in the process of uh, creating some images. So join me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just get this image. So my landing page right now, let's see, what do I have? Um, my apologies for the sniffers, but um, yeah, let me just show you guys. So I'm here right now, I'm in the process of creating some images to add to this landing page. So I'm going to save this one because my first image is one of the senior, older dude. So now I'm going to get a picture of this older woman. Um, active senior retiree so i'm going to save this image i have my folder here all my google stuff so i have a folder just for google images and other royalty free images all right so i'm going to save this i like this one uh, let's see if there are any others all right this is a nice one all right cool um, guys, um, make sure you get um, images that are compliant, uh, royalty-free. Um, this is just for example purposes only, okay? All right, just going to number this. Because imagery is key. Now, the thing is, when I'm doing this, I'm going to also make the Facebook as congruent as well. So that... Um, from the, the, the user experience from the Facebook ad to the landing page is, is seamless and congruent. And um, so for the customer, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy process. And for Google and Facebook as well, they just love um, the congruency. You get more points, the more um, relevant. So if you have an ad that is uh, relevant to your landing page, and the um, follow-up page, you, you're going to get points across the board. You're going to get um, higher points for your ad in Facebook. And um, also, Google, your ad score is going to increase, and that will drive down the cost of your ads. All right? Especially when you're using landing page views for Facebook. All right? So I'm liking this image. I'm going to save this as well. Let's save. Local opportunities for retirees. I think I should add seniors there as well. So seniors. You know, the thing of the alphabetical order and stuff like that. All right, like this one, save this one. Ah, oh, this is good as well. It's a shutter stop image. This is good. Choose a couple. All right. Let's go with this one. So I'm in, in the dark right now, and um, my apologies, you can't see my face, but I promise next time I will do a face recording. Oh man, we're getting loads of images. This is awesome. All right, so let's see, number four, number five. We're just going to test which, um, which um, image works best in the background for that landing page. All right. Let's see, that looks a bit too professional. Uh, okay. This looks, this looks good. This looks promising. Okay. Uh, does it look like work from home opportunity? No. I'll more lean towards something along that. Let's see. Um, oh, this. I don't like this caption, though. It's kind of. Um, <laughs> Stereotypical old lady type in laptop. Come on, man. <laughs> I'll say senior. <laughs> okay. So notice my naming structure for the images as well. I want to I wanna get as much um, zinc juice. And um, I'm optimizing my images, basically, with the names and stuff. So when people search, they can get that as well. They can get my images, even though they re reuse images, but hey, uh, this one looks good, but it has the branding. This looks okay, but it has the watermark. Let's see. 
Alright, this looks alright. It's a bit looks a bit fake though, but hey. Um let's see. I'm gonna grab one more image and then we're good to go. So I think we got this one. I think I already downloaded this one. Um let's see, so another one. Um let's see. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Stay with me, guys. Alright, so let's see. We're going to go with this and uh, let's show some others based on that. So from here, we went to. Uh, from here, this is our connection. And I think we went to here. Ah, there we go. This is an awesome image. I'm loving this image. I mean, that image just ticks all the boxes something about this image i if i was a senior i would sign up for something based on that all right so i'm gonna do use this now we're gonna go back to our page right here oops where is it there it is and we're gonna upload the image so i'm gonna go to my google images i'm gonna add one two three four the couple couple and this lady, I'm going to add all of them and we're going to test them out, all right? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. All right, so I'm using lead pages, by the way. I'm setting up a landing page with lead pages. And we are going to use this one. This one, so I remember I tell you guys I like this one. So the previous image was that of a an older dude. I think I have it here somewhere. So this is let's see if I could there we go. This is the um, previous landing page I've created. So I'm gonna I'm doing a split test. Hence the reason me creating a landing page with another image, background image, but with this time it's a woman. So I have a guy already. So I'm going to use a woman. And uh, let's see. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Oh, here we go. Here it is. So um, there's a landing page. This is awesome. I'm loving this image. Want to discover the best work at home business opportunity for seniors? Yes, I do. If you have a woman, 15 minutes spare time daily. Uh, 15 minutes spare time. 15 minutes to spare. Let's, let's reward it to spare daily. This business opportunity will work for you. Awesome. So, when you discover this woman opportunity, business opportunity for seniors, seniors, as I do, and um, just make sure our pop up is on point. Where should we send a link to this great opportunity? Maybe um, we could tweak the wording to see limited opportunity, name, email address, phone number. Send me the link. All right, we create. So in the back end of the pages, we um, oh let me change this. Uh, best work from home business opportunity for seniors. All right. And notify, we're going to have everyone notified, good. Uh, oops, so that's V2. Well, did I say V2? Yeah, that's version 2, split page 2. The fields, name, email, address, phone number, was the best time to con get contacted, the actions. So you have the option of sending your visitor to a default uh, lead page, thank you page, uh, landing page, so we're going to use the landing page. Um, the version 2 of the thank you page. I'll show you guys in a bit. And um, on external URL, I use the external URLs for affiliate promotions, which I'll show you in a future video. All right, we could, and we could also remain on page. So I'm OK with that. Um, if you notice that um, with lead pages, they actually guide you as to the, um, the they give you a score. For your, for 
before you land in page, you'll leave page and tell you what's wrong with it and what can be fixed. So more than three phone fees, they always discourage that. But I need phone numbers for that kind. Incorrect use of phone fees. Uh, that's tentative. That's uh, either here or there. Because if you're requesting a callback, um, I'm suspecting maybe they would like me to put it on another page. But then I would still need to gather that information to, con uh, to connect the name and email address with that phone number. And Lead Pages doesn't offer that at the moment. All right, so readability, long headline. Yeah. We passed 11 out of 14 checks. Guys, yeah, that's quite good. Okay, so that's why it's okay. Uh, we're going to preview this page. Gonna preview this page. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Preview. Okay, still waiting. All right, awesome. So I'm really loving this page, guys. So this is a mobile version. Oh, oops. We have to kind of shrink it for the mobile so that the image appears more in line. For tablet, it works as well. Okay, and desktop. So I could tweak it. I'll have to tweak it for this. All right, um, for mobile. Uh, unlike Wix, with Wix though, I could modify, I could make edits to the mobile version. So I'm gonna exit the preview. And um, let's see, I could either add, what I could do, I could add more space to the top of this. Let's see if they will allow me to. Nope, it might be in the layout. Uh, main content, there we go. Come on, column two. We need to add a row. And with that row, there we go. So with the row, I have the column, and I could add the space bar to the row, and I could modify it here to put the row over the column. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's see how this looks. All right, and let us preview to see the mobile version. All right, let's see the tablet. Good as well. Let's see this. It kind of just cuts it out. But we get the point. Um, that's something we need pages might need to work on. The tweak, mobile uh, tweaking, mobile landing page view modification. All right, so I'm happy with this and I'm going to publish this. So I'm publishing with. Um, Secure that URL, that domain, and we're gonna publish. And you're gonna see how it looks. All right, so we have the opportunity to copy the link and we could view it in a separate browser. Oh, also note that we could change the favicons for each landing page. So this is how it looks. Works, enter information, send me a link, everything goes through. All right, guys, so that's it for me. I've just created a landing page for a work from home business opportunity for seniors or retirees. All right, so remember to like, share, subscribe, and um, give me a thumbs up. And um, also check out the links in the description below. All right, cheers.